Registered Phenomena Code 002 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Ballistic Hazard Memory Alteration Hazard Extreme Temperature Hazard Toxic Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-002 is to be contained in a standard Alpha-class storage container. RPC-002 may be removed from its container for testing purposes, with the approval of Level 3 research staff. RPC-002 is not to be used outside of approved testing areas, and only on approved targets. Testing on living or organic targets may be conducted with the approval of the Director of Site. Due to recent unexpected test results, experimental use of RPC-002 is forbidden until further notice. For more information, see Incident Log RPC-002-F. RPC-002 is an 1873 Colt single-action army revolver, which causes a variety of unpredictable physics-altering effects when loaded and fired. The object's 19.05 cm barrel, original nickel plating and walnut grips are characteristic of the first-generation cavalry variant of the CSAA. RPC-002 displays minor anomalous properties when unloaded, namely a minor memory alteration effect see below, and a capacity for continuous self-repair. Any component of the anomaly which is marked, damaged, removed or altered in any way will be immediately replaced with a new component identical in composition to the one present on the object before it was modified or damaged. Any removed component will vanish simultaneously to the appearance of the new component. One chamber of RPC-002 cylinder is heavily abraded, showing damage consistent with a catastrophic misfire or casing rupture. When loaded with any bullet capable of fitting its chambers and fired, the resultant anomalous projectile, designated RPC-002-1, causes a variety of physical alterations in the material composition of the target struck. While RPC-002-1 is visually identical to a .45 caliber Colt bullet in flight, no physical projectile has ever been recovered from a target hit by the anomaly. The effects of RPC-002-1 impact with a target are characterized by sudden alteration of the target's chemical structure, usually accompanied by a substantial release of energy in the form of heat. RPC-002-1's effects are more pronounced on chemically pure targets, and it is capable of causing the chemical conversion of structurally contiguous chemically pure objects massing up to 450 kg. The exact effects of different cylinders of RPC-002 are internally consistent. However, the difficulty in marking individual components it is compounded by RPC-002-2, the object's cognitohazardous effect. RPC-002-2 is characterized by the inability of any human being to consistently remember or observe the relative positions of individual chambers within the weapon cylinder. Multiple personnel who observed the operation of RPC-002, even via digital transmission or recording, will invariably disagree of which chambers have been fired and the exact configuration of the weapon when loaded. This effect is not consistent over time, and personnel who view recordings of the same test multiple times will demonstrate inconsistent and self-contradictory memories of the event with each repetition. While the position of the destroyed chamber of RPC-002 cylinder is theorized to remain constant, the effects of RPC-002-2 make this theory functionally non-demonstrable. Experiment Log The following test numbers have been redacted for information security reasons, and replaced with identifying placeholders. Test Number RPC-002-A Subject CSD-4867 Asian Male 38 Procedure Agent Jameson is ordered to point and fire the revolver at CSD-4867 from a distance of 10 meters. Results: CSD-4867's body cavity violently explodes. Thermal imaging reveals that, upon contact with RPC-002-1, all water within the subject's tissues instantly increased in temperature to 1670 degrees Celsius.
causing explosive rupturing of the major organs. Much of the subject remains were immediately reduced to ash, which proved to be non-anomalous. Agent Jameson suffered minor pressure bruising and first-degree burns. Note, spectral analysis reveals that, upon contact, much of the calcium within the subject's skeletal structure was converted to chemically pure sodium, which reacted upon contact with the water in the subject's tissues. However, even the combustion of sodium does not account for the extreme temperatures observed. Notice from head researcher. Future tests will use strictly inorganic targets. CSD should be employed to fire the object, to minimize the risk of injury to experienced personnel. Test Number RPC-002-B Subject One bar of SAE Type 416 steel alloy, 20 kg Procedure CSD-4869 instructed to fire RPC-002 at the target, from a distance of 20 meters. Results Upon RPC-002-1 impact, the target is observed to suddenly separate into two coherent masses of chemically pure iron and carbon, which collide violently with opposite walls of the test chamber. A pile of powdery residue is left in the original position of the target, which chemical testing reveals to be quantities of chromium, manganese, nickel, potassium, and sulfur consistent with the amounts present in the original alloy steel bar. Note, while the iron and carbon were violently separated, while other components such as manganese, which was present at a higher percentage of the original target's mass and carbon, were not imparted with kinetic energy is unclear. Test number RPC-002-C Subject, Cord of English Oak Wood, 1 kg Procedure CSD-4881 instructed to fire RPC-002 at the target from a distance of 20 meters. Results. Upon impact, monitoring equipment in a test chamber registered the abrupt drop in air pressure and temperature, accompanied by a sudden spike in neutron radiation. Observation apertures and windows frost over, and the chamber door freezes shut. Upon re-entering the test chamber with equipment for handling the extremely low temperatures, and high levels of radiation in the test chamber. Personnel discovered that the target had been replaced with an approximately 10 kg mass of plutonium-238. CSD-4881 was killed by the combination of intense radiation and low temperature exposure. Notes. It is believed, based on the limited spectrographic readings available, that RPC-002-1 converted the target into a substantially larger mass of some unstable synthetic element, possibly livermorium or fluorobrium. To create this mass, the anomaly drew energy and mass in from the atmosphere of the test chamber, resulting in the substantial temperature drop observed. Notice from Site Director, RPC-002 is to be fired by remote in all further testing. Test Number RPC-002-D Subject one sheet of nitrile rubber, 3 kg. Procedure RPC-002 fired the target via the use of a mechanical pulley system. Results RPC-002-1 produced a hole through the target without damaging the testing backstop. The sheet of rubber was observed to collapse into several dense crystalline fragments. Testing of the remains revealed them to be composed of a chemical compound structurally similar to yttrium-barium copper oxide, save for the presence of several unidentifiable trace chemicals. Notes. The new material created by RPC-002 appears to be a functional room-temperature superconductor. Material science research to duplicate the substance is ongoing. Test number RPC-002-E Subject. 250 ml of water, contained in a standard borosilicate glass beaker. Procedure. RPC-002's damage chamber was loaded. The weapon was fired at the target via the use of a mechanical pulley system from a distance of 20 meters. Results. RPC-002 failed to fire. Notes. There appears to be no mechanical reason why RPC-002 failed to activate. While damage to the chamber makes the weapon naturally unsafe to use, it does not physically prevent a round from being chambered and fired. Notice from Head Researcher, 
Some of the ASF personnel assigned to test security have had an unorthodox test suggestion. I'm allowing it. Test number RPC-002-F Subject 250 ml of water, contained in a standard borosilicate glass beaker. Procedure All six of RPC-002's chambers were loaded. The cylinder of the weapon was then spun freely by a blindfolded researcher, who inserted the loaded weapon into the mechanical firing system by feel. All chamber observation devices that had previously pointed at the weapon during the process of firing were deactivated. The weapon was fired at the target via the use of a mechanical pulley system from a distance of 20 meters. Results. See Incident Log RPC-002-F Incident Log RPC-002-F On April 12, 2000, 8.22 am, RPC-002 was test-fired using a Russian roulette technique formulated by local research and protection staff. At the time of firing, the exact orientation of the weapon's chambers were unknown, as was the state of the weapon since initial loading. The weapon's target was a standard borosilicate glass beaker containing 250 ml of deionized water. At approximately 8.23 am, all contact with loss with sight, save for on-site seismographic equipment which indicated an intense site-wide vibration, characteristic of a minor earthquake or substantial explosion. An automatic distress signal was sent out, signaling that one or more RPCs had breached containment. ASF recovery teams were immediately sent out to recontain and neutralize any threats, anomalous or otherwise. Upon arrival at the site, response personnel noted that the building had undergone substantial structural damage and was radiating intense heat. Personnel also noted a strong smell of gunpowder. All site personnel have been killed by impact injuries, and all anomalies on the site have been destroyed by the building's collapse. RPC-002 was recovered intact, with all five of its undamaged chambers still loaded. The damaged chamber was empty. Addendum 002-1 Based on a detailed mathematical analysis of the structural damage to site, it can be concluded that the facility was destroyed by an anomalous effect comparable to heavy gunfire. This effect is believed to take the form of a wave, which propagated at a RPC-002's test chamber and into the site's ventilation systems before expanding throughout the structure. The collision of this wave with any form of matter a process tentatively dubbed RPC-002-3 is functionally similar to striking every 3mm square area of the target surface with a single Colt 45 caliber round fired at point-blank range. In effect, the activation of RPC-002-1 during test RPC-002-F resulted in the entire site being struck by more than times 10 to the 8th power rounds in the same instant. The resultant energy transfer was enough to kill all living things in the facility and cause substantial structural collapse. Addendum 002-2 All testing of RPC-002 is suspended by order of the Global Directorate. The item has been transferred to Site-001.